you're watching Prim Print and Peachy and today I'm going to be doing this Betty and Draper Betty Draper inspired hairstyle. This is more of her kind of going out style. It involves kind of like a up kind of poof slick back with um under curled sides. This look and set is actually just taken directly from my first Betty look, so you can go back to that video and I'll put a link here. Um, if you want to see how I set my hair, it's very, very simple. And um, yeah, so if you like this look, then keep on watching. I just finished this kind of Mad Men um, Betty Draper look, and I wanted to try another look that I see her wear um, a lot as well. So basically, I'm just going to take my brush and start kind of brushing my hair under like this. trying to get it to kind of flip out. and add a lot more spray for this look. So the great thing about pin curls is once your hair is curled, you can kind of brush it one way under or brush it over and the curl will just keep on forming because it's so strong. So as you can see here, I have it nicely rolled under and I'm going to continue to try to get it as nice on this side just by brushing it, um, adding some more spray. Just kind of hold it through your fingers, kind of like this, two fingers, and spray the, um, the kind of curl just to get it really smooth and defined. This is sometimes she'll wear this look when, um, in the evening or also like when she has to go out more and not just around the house so then taking the top half of your hair here trying to keep the curl in shape um this is going to get severely teased <laughs> So, just going to start actually back combing here. And placing it. As you can see, I've finished all my back combing. And on this side, I've put um, a small grip tooth comb, and I'm just going to put it on the other side. So basically, like, it's a really simple look to go from the first set to this set, and you can kind of see how pin curling sets are really, like, malleable, and you can really kind of get more than one look out of them. So, I'm just going to kind of take a section of hair here. And going backwards, backwards and then forwards with the side comb. And this is not really necessary, but it kind of just gives it a little bit more of an authentic look and it'll give your hair, like it'll stay high and back combed for a little bit longer. I'm just going to add a little bit more spray. to kind of give it that hard look. This is a little bit more of a fancy look. Yeah, but um, this is look, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I love kind of watching those scenes where she gets to dress up in um, her different lovely outfits that she wears. I'm not a fan of the character um, as a person at all. Um, she's kind of the kind of person you love to hate, 
but um, there is some scenes I really do love with her when she shoots the birds. Um, and also when they go to, her and Dawn go to Italy. Those are probably my two favorite um, Betty Draper kind of scenes or episodes. I'd love to hear what you, your um, favorite Betty moments are. You can comment below um, and like this if you like. I was thinking of doing the look where in Italy where she has that huge kind of more towards the 60s side um, updo with the little bow here but it's really ornate and time consuming and I didn't know if you guys would want to see that or whether anyone would want to actually um, reproduce that. So you can comment below on that as well and maybe I'll try to um, put a video out there for you guys. But yeah, this is the first two of my Betty looks for the Mad Men kind of mini series I think I might do. And I'm still looking forward to Joan hair. I'm still working on perfecting the Joan updo, but um, that's definitely coming. And I'm looking forward to it. Joan's one of my most favorite characters. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.